Hello guys and welcome. I am Ahmad Adel and this is Cost Engineering Professional. And in this video, we'll be talking about the principles of measurement international, POMI. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back. Now, what is POMI? What is Principles of Measurement International? So POMI stands for Principles of Measurements International, and it is one of the standard methods of measurement published by the RICS Business Services Limited, which is a subsidiary of the Royal Institution of Chartered Surveyors. We, we know the RICS very well, all of us. So actually the POMI or the Principles of Measurement International is one of the standard methods of measurement. When you want to measure something, when you want to make a BOQ, you need to make this BOQ in accordance with one of the standard methods of measurement. And POMI is one of them. So what is actually a standard method of measurement? Standard method of measurement is the documentation of rules and the provisions that could be applied in the measurement of works for all major tasks, trades, sections, and elements of construction projects. So the way you make a BOQ, the way you capture the items, the way you measure the items, the units of measurements, all these things, when you compile all of them in one document, it becomes a method of measurement. But if you want a standard method of measurement, then this document has to be produced by a professional body, by some people who are recognized to be industry professionals, people who know what they are doing. So this is the standard method of measurements and th there are many of them. And POMI is one that is being very widely used, very popular, and this is what we are going to be studying here. So from the foreword of POMI, in the first page, if you search in Google uh, Principles of Measurement International, you can download that document and have a look. So in the first page or in the foreword, they say that the BOQ provides a well-established means of enabling financial control and management of a project. This is the key use of a BOQ. So clear understanding by all parties to the contract of what is included or excluded in the measurement is very important. And that's why we need a standard method of measurement. So quantities have to be measured consistently as it benefits the industry as a whole. So what is the meaning of that? In a, in a brief, the BOQ will provide means for you to manage the project financially. And all the parties that are involved in a contract should be fully aware of how these items or how these quantities are measured. Like if everyone knows exactly how the item is measured and presented in the BOQ, this benefits the industry as a whole because all of us will have the same understanding of what is included and what is excluded in this item or in this BOQ. So again, from the foreword of POMI, many countries all over the world are having their own methods of measurement. But POMI is still being very widely used in big portion of these countries themselves. And also, especially in international contracts. Imagine that you are living in a country and in your country, a very big project that requires a contractor from outside because the contractors in your country, for example, are not qualified enough to do this. So you are bringing an international contractor. When you make a BOQ for him, you need to follow a standard method of measurement that is being internationally used. So POMI will be very appropriate for, for such a tender. So when BOQ is not provided as part of tender documents, contractors and subcontractors tend to prepare their own BOQ based on POMI or any other standard method of measurement. But the comparison between these two people will not be apple to apple. If, if everyone will price the project as per his understanding, as per his own method of measurement, then how can you compare the prices for what is included, what is excluded? The procurement of the item or of the project becomes very hard. So that's better. Of course, it is always better for us all to be using a standard method of measurement so we have the same understanding. Okay. These principles require detailed specifications and tender drawings to be provided in order to be used. So if you want to use a very specific method of measurement or principles of measurement, you need to have the full details of the project. The scope of work should be very well defined. You should have the full set of drawings. You should have the specifications. You should have everything. 
And then when you have that, you can go and make a BOQ. You will measure the project and you will prepare a BOQ for this project in accordance with POMI and you will get something perfect. But in order to get this perfect BOQ that you are looking for, you need to have full specifications and tender drawings. So since circumstances vary from country to country and from contract to contract, these principles need to be flexible in order to accommodate variations in practice and techniques. So these principles are not Quran or Bible. No, they are flexible to accommodate the differences in practice and techniques. But the thing is, there is an, an appendix in the principles of measurement, and we will see that in a moment, where you have to keep all the deviations that you have done from the principles of measurement so everyone can know that, for example, this project or this POQ is prepared in accordance with POMI. However, the below points are measured in a different way. So, But still, the understanding will be there. So any comments on these principles should be sent to the RICS construction faculty. And if you download the POMI, the document that I told you from Google, you will find the address stated there for any comments on these principles. If some professionals found that some items are missing or some items are not presented in a proper way or it is measured in another way. So these comments should be addressed to the RICS construction faculty and they will take care of that. These principles are also available in, in these languages, in English, in Arabic, in French, and German. So if you want to prepare a BOQ in accordance with POMI, these will be the contents of your BOQ. And it starts with section GP, which is a general principles. And actually, as I told you, I'm going to be explaining all these sections in details as per the POMI, what the POMI says about all of these sections, what are the items that should come inside each of them and how they are measured, what is the unit of measurement and if there are any other comments in our upcoming videos. So here, as we said, these are the contents of POMI, section GP, general principles. Then you have section A, which is the general requirements, section B, site works, section C, concrete works, section D, masonry, section E, metal works, Section F, Woodworks, and Section G, Thermal and Moisture Protection. Section H, Doors and Windows. Section J, Finishes. Section K, Accessories. Section L, Equipment. Section M, Furnishing. And Section N, Special Construction. And Section P, Conveying Systems. Section Q, Mechanical Engineering Installations. And Section R, Electrical Engineering Installation. Then you have the appendix that we have discussed because each of these sections, if you are going to follow the POMI, if you are going to measure in accordance with POMI, then for each of these sections, there are details that you should follow in your measurement in order to prepare a BOQ in accordance with POMI. However, if you have deviated in any way than what is mentioned in these sections, then these amendments or these deviations should be coming here or presented here that amendments to the principles of measurement are as following one, two, three, four, and you need to state where have you deviated and how. So anyone else who is studying your BOQ can understand exactly how did you measure the quantities. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I appreciate your valuable time. Please wait the next episodes of the principles of measurement international because they are going to be very interesting. Me, myself, I am very much excited to do this on YouTube. And with this, I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe, take care, and bye-bye.